friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to October. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know where the year is going, but it's going. So we're going to do our best to document it as the days pass. Um, we are in the beginning of October. I have filmed the making of this journal, which is my October <laughs> creative daily journal. And I absolutely love it already. Absolutely love it. But so today is uh, Tuesday, the third, the third. We were gone on Monday, the first yesterday. No, Sunday, the first uh, Monday. I don't know, uh, has come and gone already. So um, when we were gone, I picked up this beautiful little magazine. Uh, actually, my husband, sorry for the glare. My husband got it for me as we grabbed a little bite to eat. We drove to Idaho for the day and um yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I may come back and get this. I wanted to do a quick go through to make sure there wasn't anything I needed for the day we went to Idaho. Now, I have to tell you this magazine. So first of all, it's called, uh, I guess, Home and Harvest. I think this is in a weird place. It's from Moscow, Pullman, Lewiston and Clarkston, which is like eastern Washington and very western Idaho okay right as they come together like you know 10 minutes apart across so um I really liked some things about this now you guys know again if you're new here welcome if not welcome back you have seen me go through magazines I like print pages I think this is a beautiful page for all sorts of fun stuff so I would probably pull that but oh my gosh you have to look at the other side. Look at the glory. Now, I don't know how I would use this, but like I said, I'm not going to do a full harvest today. I just wanted to pull if there was something. I have to also say I'm not a big fan of the letters. I get it's part of the spectacular blah, blah, blah. It's just not my favorite. Look at this. I love these full page just art. I mean, it is gorgeous. So I will come back and get that. But this is the other thing I love about this one. It had some very interesting text um boxes if you will like purple background and like a cream writing I think that's cool so even if you were just to cut out the word harvest and then joy this could be a fun background I really like the difference in colors yeah again this I think is very cool for a background I really do uh I mean gorgeous Okay, P and W, I will pull that. Uh, let me have some coffee. It is early in the morning. It's 6 a.m. Excuse me, I'm already up and dressed. Food is packed and I'm ready to go. And so I and I have an hour. So I was like, I'm gonna come down and journal uh, and see. Okay, now see this, I think I would cut even for this morning, even though that's not what my mug looks like. You guys, I'm so sad. I was not going to, I probably am not going to decorate for Halloween. I think we've had this discussion because we decorate for October and Halloween and then we decorate, we take it all down and we decorate November, like fall, right? And I don't, I'm not in the mood. I, and I haven't been in the mood. The kids are grown. The kids are gone. I don't know who I'm decorating for. We don't get trick-or-treaters. Um, so, okay, this I'm pulling for sure. Yeah, and thankfully this is not uh, because my husband goes back to the dentist tomorrow and we all know how well those days go. I'm just going to literally put it in front of me. Um, oh, this is interesting. Like different little months here. Not going to pull it. Um, <laughs> that's cute. Oh, shoot. I did have, I do have another picture. I printed up some pictures I mean, that's pretty. You could obviously, this would be an easy one. Like if you had any sort of person, even a tooth, right? You could put them on this road as like a collage page or whatever. This is cool. Um, I'm just looking real quickly and I forgot what I was saying. Okay, beautiful. But see, here's another one of those text boxes that is not normal color. And I'm really digging on this. Oh, so coffee mugs all that kind of stuff so I wasn't going to decorate October and I actually think we need to probably get rid of a lot of the decorations because we're just not going to use it and other people will and all that kind of stuff yes fall flavors are here 
pumpkin coffee right here, but it's in my pink mug and it makes me not as um, pumpkin-y, you know? If you know, you know. Okay, so, um, but I went to get out my pumpkin mugs, Halloween mugs. Of course, they're in the pumpkin boxes, the Halloween boxes, and I got to get them all down and get, like, I couldn't just grab it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Like, I am a big fan of lemon blueberry muffins. Big fan. But, like, not right now. Not right now. I want... Never made that. Never going to make it. There's enough other people that make a good dumpling soup. But that looks good. Um, yeah, gross. Okay. Um... I don't know. I mean, again, blackberry, yum. I might make this one. Oh, allspice and nutmeg. Okay, there it is. I'm not a big fruit and spice fan, to be honest, so I don't know. Don't need that. I really thought there was some... Okay, this is gorgeous. This is interesting. I have some very fun pictures last week of all the leaves by my office when I went for a little walk during the day. Um, okay. This is adorable. Look at her. Well, okay, here's a thrift. So like we would cut that out if we go to the thrift store, right? Um, mm, mm. All right, I kind of thought there were some words in here. Again, fun font or fun colors of font. This picture I love, this retro art. I thought that was really cool. School teachers, little schoolhouse. Oh, look at this one. Is that not amazing? Oktoberfest. This is kind of fun. Look at the caterpillar. Oh my goodness. So cool. Um, hmm. I really thought there might be something. Interesting. This is a cool picture. Again, for, you know, art whatever collaging something I like this little thank you down here with the tree that's cute see like this is where we were but so weird I cut out a picture I didn't I didn't print the picture of us I should print it up that's gonna make me frustrated all right um I'm gonna cut it kind of like that for now and this will go in recycle. Um, I didn't cut up the picture of, cut up, I didn't print up the picture of I took by the street sign from the campus or pulling into Idaho, right? Look at this. See, look at the orange font on the black. That is so cool. Yeah, super cool. This is like beautiful. Um, very cute. I got to get out all the rest of my October stuff now that I see that. This is cool. Right? Because we fly out of Seattle. I mean, if we fly, we didn't drive. I mean, we drove this time, obviously. And don't be afraid. That's so funny. Oh, little shop of florals. Oh, that's really cute. That's creative. Okay. Uh, Well, isn't that... Oh, and look at that. On the very last page is a little... Thing right there that says the University of Idaho. Okay, that will do. Holy cow, thank you so much. Well, we're going to take one thing out of that magazine. We'll go through it uh, later. Okay, let me show you where we're at. This is the journal that I chose for October. It is an old journal. I took out the pages. I used all the pages inside, like for my other writing or whatever. And I saved this cover specifically for October. And then I took my scrapbooking paper and made the insides. Now, here's some washi because we were on the road and I was decorating my pages in the car. Yep. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right. Here's some more washi. Okay. So I have some little things here. I think I haven't quite decided, but I'm pretty sure I do not mind this cream at all. I think it flows. This is a piece of scrapbook paper, and I added some paper buttons that we've made. I think I might. I, I don't know why I would grab cream. I mean, we'll grab 
this. It's not going to match. But I think I may add a piece of paper, a wider one, in here. If not, if not, I will make a pocket and just add it down here, right? Maybe that's what we want to do, um, you know, to stick some of this stuff in. I normally have a pocket at the front of my um, journals just to, you know, stick some stuff in. Or if you know you're going to use it, oops, I stuck to glue tape there. Um, I would, you know, I would tuck it in here. I guess if I, I guess if I did this, what I'm saying is I would probably add another, um, you know, pocket on top of it anyway. So it's just a matter. So the front's kind of like not done, but that's okay. So we have some missing pieces. Here is one. I put the bag in from where we went. And so what I did in the car was I took these adorable printables from Melissa and these um, are on her Etsy shop. I will list her channel below. You'll need to go to her channel to find the link to her Etsy store. Okay. These are her October printables. She's shown them on her channel as well. I of course Mod Podge them with Sparkle Mod Podge because if there's a month to add Sparkle, it's, you know, well, October, quite frankly. Um, well, maybe December too, but I mean, come on, come on. How can you not? It's so stinking cute. Okay. So I went through and I added um, all the numbers and as many days as came on the sheet. Okay. So all my pages have a number. Now, part of the conversation was the size of journal smaller and these are a little bit bigger than I would normally use, but I love them. They are adorable. Look how stinking cute that is. O M G every single page. Now I made my entire book Halloween. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. It's okay. My journal, my way. I have got to find ways to use my scrapbook paper, you guys. So I don't know when else I'm going to use all this Halloween paper. We're going to do it here. Okay. All right. Let's see what we do. Okay. Let's see what we do have. I printed up some pictures. Uh, I did not do it. Well, I don't know if I could have done it differently. Okay. These are from last week, which is the last week of August. So I'm going to put them. No, September. Sorry. Excuse me. And I just need to put them away. I can't put them in my journal right now because uh, it's still upstairs in my bag from the car ride. Okay. So I'm going to put them just right here. This one's from Sunday. Yeah. All right. I will cut these apart and see what we want to do. Here we go. Now, <gasps> where's my thing? Where's the one thing I cut out? One thing and I lost it. Here it is right here. Okay. So Sunday, I already put some tape on here, like washi tape, um, road tape, right? And, you know, we're going to put this on here somehow. And then these pictures go in here. We drove to Idaho and we picked up my son's girlfriend on the way and, uh, she lives like 15 minutes from the campus in Idaho, but she goes to school in Washington. It's so crazy. And she said she was going to go. And then we're looking at the map and we're like, we are, we're literally driving by you. Like, let us pick you up. She's like, sure. So we grabbed her. She hopped in the car. She's so stinking cute. So, oh my gosh. Okay. So those, that's that. I just stapled some, um, little fabric scrap on here. This is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the stupidest picture of me, but I don't care. I'm laughing so hard. Um, and then this was an affirmation from yesterday. So that will go on that page. We'll go back to here. I think, I think I'm going to try and, I don't need the golf ball. I don't, I mean, it's kind of cool if I could get the moon, like it kind of looks like a moon, but I can't, I don't need the golf ball. So I'm going to try and maybe just, um, around it 
like that. Okay, so we could add it to this, like University of Idaho, Moscow, Idaho, something like that. We could obviously cut this down smaller because again, I'm working on a little bit smaller pages. Um, I also have some fun things like right in front of me, obviously like this pumpkin and we could put it like on top of this pumpkin. It's too big for like this pumpkin, but this one's kind of cute. Well, let's just play with it, shall we? I mean, we have all month, but I have so much ephemera for October, you guys. It's ridiculous. So we'll... So now we get to decide. I have so much to do, you guys. It's... Oh, I mean, I don't know. Last night I worked until 7.40 didn't go to the gym obviously and um, I mean we could do something like that there it is okay let me cut this I'm gonna keep the yellow kind of as a background sure let's do it mm. all right Yeah, last night I worked late and then um, let me just get my spacing here a little bit. I don't want it necessarily like on this orange. I don't want it to overlap like that. I want some space in between it. So I'm moving, moving it over a little bit. Um, And I was just emotionally exhausted. It's it's so draining for me to do this work right now um, and saying goodbye for four weeks, basically. Um, processing me leaving with everyone. Yeah, oh, I panicked. This is the wrong day. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, so anyway, I came home and um, ate not nutritiously. I mean, it was okay. I just ate some toast and uh, had some tea and went to bed. No, that's not true. Had some toast and tea, took a bath, read my book and went to bed. Like I had nothing else to give. <laughs> and so, um, but weirdly enough, this morning I woke up an hour early, just not completely on my own, not completely on my own. My husband leaves very early, but he normally just kisses me goodbye and I go back to sleep and it's no problem. But this morning I just couldn't go back to sleep. Not in a bad way. I just, my brain was up and rested enough. And so I got up and I was like, let's start the day. Now, um, we'll, we'll have to decide what we want to do with this picture. <laughs> All right. And this picture I'm going to put in here just because we are enjoying our morning cup of pumpkin coffee. I did sit out on the deck a little bit. The sun, mm, well, I guess it's up now. It's not up, up, but you know what I'm saying? The sun is definitely not up in the mornings anymore. When I wake up, it's dark and, um, Oh, I really like that. I actually really like that mug. I'm looking at this little washi samples I have right here. These are from you guys. Um, so I'm just looking, I love this one. Um, this one's very pretty. It's kind of more folly to me. This one, of course I love, like I would use this. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the squirrelies. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's get some tape on this page, right? Like this. Super fun. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll, let's just glue it on. I don't, you know, we can work around it. We can always add more if we want to later. So I was going to say, do we tip it in or do we wait or, but I don't have that much going on today. I'm going to work. Hopefully going to the gym. I mean, the gym bag's always packed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, yesterday I went to PT. See, that's not in here. So 
We need a new pack of stickies. I used up my whole pack of stickies, you guys. We're using our stuff. Let's grab a new pack. Let's, um, and I don't, I don't, uh, oh, these are interesting. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. These are actually kind of cute. I try to use ones that, like, maybe I wouldn't use for journaling spots as much, but gosh knows I don't actually pull sticky notes. <laughs> I don't pull sticky notes that often um, just to use in my journal. I, I use them more practically. I mean, these are very cute. They say blah, blah, blah. So maybe I'll leave those out. But like this, today's plan, I'm not going to use these as like a journaling spot and nor do I use them in my journal. Oh, they're kind of fun. They stick on the left. Okay. So I might do something, you know, like this for now, at least. Um, we'll just, we'll just see. Uh, we did do PT and we work late. Um, we took a bath. Mm. I did buy more Oreos for work. Holy cow, you guys. So again, Saturday was still September. Friday night, I can't remember if I already told you the story or not, but I'm going to tell it to you again for those of you in the back. So um, Friday night, we went out after the gym and then I was telling my coach, like, she was going to, uh, she was going to target to run an errand or whatever. And I was like, Oh my God, will you please look for the pumpkin Oreos? They're sold out everywhere. And she's like, sure. And so Saturday morning she brought them to the gym for a workout. Oh my God, I was dying. Uh, cause they've been sold out on Amazon and everywhere. And so I couldn't find them. And then, and then, uh, she brought them and you guys, I'm telling you what, mm, they might be my favorite Oreo. Now, I'm an Oreo fan, okay? I'm an Oreo connoisseur, and I take that title kind of seriously. So, uh, the plain, absolutely, number one. Mm, that's not true. I Well, no, I'm going to say classic. Yeah, I'm going to say classic's number one. Solid, solid number two is the mint. Like, special treat. Don't get me wrong. We rarely eat Oreos, but when we do, I'm here for it, okay? You guys, the pumpkin, though, um... And other than that, I'm not a big fan, right? So I've, I've tried them. I've tried them. My, um, like best friend made me a charcuterie board a few years ago, full of like 12 flavors of Oreos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them not a fan at all. Kind of gross. Okay. Um, the pumpkin, the pumpkin, huge fan. So I was telling people at work, um, they're almost gone by the way. And, and, um, I was going to bring some to my daughter and just like literally didn't. And I felt bad. So I went yesterday before my appointment, I took a break in the middle of the day, went to my PT, my orthopedic appointment, not PT. And I uh, ran across to target and they had them, they were restocked. And I was like, Oh my gosh. And so I bought three boxes, three boxes of them or packages. So one for my girl, um, one for work and one for us, of course. Um, and so, uh, so the ones at work are almost gone. I took them in yesterday and everyone loved them. Um, yeah. And so, uh, I'm just giggling because I don't know. Yeah. Horrible, horrible for you. Don't get them. Don't get them. If you do, you're going to love them. If you're a pumpkin spice, they're not, pump are they pumpkin spice? It doesn't matter. They're amazing. They're amazing is what they are. So, um, so I did do that. So that's why I wrote Oreos there. I'll cut out the packaging and put it here. Right. Um, I'm just looking at my paper real quick. I'm trying to see, I really like this orange. I was trying to look for something to back this on like this, but, um, See, this is why this is why I'm a hoarder, okay? Because I don't want to use this paper. Gosh knows I have a whole drawer. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to take that out because that's from Sweet L a while ago, and I want to use it. Um, 
Okay, the green is what I was kind of looking for on that notepad. So I might actually use that today. Let's see. You guys, I went through, I, I went to work. And then, like I said, in the middle of the day, I had this um, orthopedic appointment. And so I go um, change out of my clothes, put some whatever, gym clothes, if you will, on so I can move and do what he wants to do to look at my knee and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, here's a smaller piece, but I don't think that's going to work. Okay. This could work and this could work because see, but it's so big and I'm sad. I'm sad. That's what it is. Okay. Um, go to the PT appointment, come back, uh, have to get dressed again because I'm back at work. Right. And, um, you guys, I, you can't see it. I just took this. I sent it to my daughter. I have two different earrings on. Literally. One's green, one's brown. Now, granted, I'm wearing green and brown. So, in my defense, I was trying on both earrings in the morning, obviously. And see, does that look... That's like too much. Um, <laughs> obviously, couldn't decide. And then forgot. I don't know. Forgot. And so I went through the entire day with two different earrings on. Now, I work with some pretty young hip, uh, some pretty young hip kids, if you will, uh, fresh out of graduate school. And they're like, oh, I just thought, you know, <laughs> that was your arty side or whatever. Like, it's good. And, and, and yes, and yes, I do have some other earrings that I bought that are, um, not the same. What's the word for not the same? Uh, hmm. Anyway, on purpose, right? They're, they're purposely not the same. And it's like, they balance energy and they do all this. <sighs> I'm like, folks, you must think I am a Looney Tune. This is what I think because nobody told me all day. And then the ones that I said, you guys, are you serious right now? And uh, they're like, oh, I just thought you were, you know, <laughs> like, oh, you're no help. Okay. My thought is I could back it, you know, like this. I could just write some here, which is probably what we're going to do. I could. Oh, but see the one time I want white paper. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll just use it as this. Now the other option. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. We're going to back it. This is super fun paper because it's beautiful cardstock. It's two sided. This is the, uh, excuse me, as I jingle jangle this morning, I'm already, like I said, I'm already dressed for work. Um, okay, there it is. I'm going to cut on that line. And I'm just going to cover up this candy on the bottom. And I'm going to use this as my journaling spot for the day or for this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I was like, I was talking to Rue on the way home and about her day and then, you know, about my day. And it's not quite where I want that. Let me let me try that again and move it up a little bit. Um, and so it's like, oh, oh, and guess what? Let me just send you a picture. You tell me, would you have said something? Oh my gosh. So, I mean, in their defense, they're the same earring. I just have two pairs. One is green. One is brown. So, you know, they thought I was being hip, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> they probably also just look at me and they're like, don't even ask. Don't even ask. It's Allison. Like, just she's having a day. Uh, okay. So now, now we get into a situation of like, do I want to use the rest of this note paper? I don't think I do. I really like it. I could just use the whole page kind of like that. And I could put this down here. We could do something of that nature. Sure. Why not? I mean, like super easy page, right? We'll just use the whole note page. So much fun, fun little notepad. All right, we'll just use it up. And again, I am using up the October stuff 
all month. And then here's my little affirmation from the day, Ooh, which I needed, which I needed. I actually got, okay, so this is interesting. I have two affirmation things and they were almost identical yesterday. Literally the title was major doors and yeah, very interesting. This says major doors are about to open for you. Your faith will pay off. The universe is taking care that everything works out for you and your loved ones are receiving big, miraculous and mind blowing blessings. Um, yes to that. Yes to that. And thank you. Okay. So that's going to go there. Okay. And then we'll just put our little note in regarding journaling, but that's that's yesterday. Okay, cool. So let's get some Sunday stuff documented. We already have like, we drove here, we have the washi tape. Here are the pictures. And then we went to this Zips burger place. Um, I've never been to a Zips. People were saying like, mm, it's really good and stuff. We, we may disagree on that fact, but nonetheless, we were there. I feel like burgers are kind of an acquired taste, if you will, like local burger joints. Oftentimes there are, well, in and outs a great example, right? Everybody loves in and out. If you've been in California, you'll, it's sometimes it's fighting words, right? Other people like from wherever states wait. And when they're there, they're like, we have to try it and out. And when they try it, they're like, I don't get it. It's not that amazing. Now on that one, I would disagree because I'm from California. Um, so now see this, Ooh, tempted, tempted to save. We're going to save it for just a little bit. I feel like zips is a little bit like if you from California, maybe a Tommy's burger, something of that nature. Um, I don't know where else the zips are. If you have a zips, let me know. When do you eat it? Tell me that if you eat zips, when do you eat it? Cause that's going to tell me, that's going to tell me, right? Um, here's my humble opinion. I think it's probably related to alcohol. I think it's like, you know, those meals you get after a night out type thing. I think it's in that category of burger. Again, my humble opinion. It's okay. I'm just going to glue it on. I was going to make, I, it's too big. Like I was going to make a pocket out of the bag, but we're not. We're going to just glue it in and deal with it. That's what we're going to do. And it's not straight. There's two possibility. Well, two probabilities. <laughs> One, I didn't cut it straight is, is I'm sure part of the equation, but either way, we're going to, we're going to line it up as best we can. All right. So there's that you guys, I felt so bad. Okay. So Rue didn't know she was traveling anyway until like Friday or something. And so I, um, obviously wasn't planning on going it, nor was my husband. And then we were like, Oh, she's traveling. We got to go. Well, we want to go. Right. So, um, I don't know what I, I ran to tra Trader Joe's on Saturday for our stuff and um, now we have to finish out. Now we have to figure out some sort of like uh, something here. Right. And I don't know. Let's see how much space we have. Um, Rue didn't know she was traveling. And so it doesn't matter. I went to Trader Joe's. I got some stuff and I got some dog treats. Cause I was like, Oh, we're probably going to go. I'm just going to see if these, if this fits here. It does not, I mean, not without covering up something, which is fine. We can cover up stuff. I'm just, I'm just seeing. And we could make these fit. So we could do, we could do a card. We could do a flip. Because we could flip it that way. We could flip it this way. Okay, let's do that. Let's find some cards. Um, so anyway, we have, you know, we collect a couple little things when we see her, we bring it out, whatever. So we have like this little bag of um, goodies for her dog, right? And so after the game, the girls shower, 
they come out to the bus, we can meet them at the bus. And, um, you know, the parents are all there, the ones that came, obviously. <laughs> and, um, and we're like, oh, yeah, we have a little bag, you know, for our kid type thing, whatever. And so I was like, oh, yeah, we have a little bag. And um, this other mom who I love dearly, she's like, oh, yeah, I brought a bag for, you know, her daughter. And I was like, oh, yeah, we brought a bag. She's like, I got her her favorite snacks from Trader Joe's. I was like, oh, I'm like I brought the dog snacks from Trader Joe's. <laughs> And I felt really bad. And I was like, oh, I'm a bad mom. <laughs> Bringing the dog treats and not my daughter. So um, I just hadn't thought about it because we didn't know we were actually going. Um, anyway, I just, I, it sounded so ridiculous. It was like, here's a bag of snacks. I'm like, but they're for your dog. And anyway, we were just giggling. So, but she sent us a picture when she got home and he was loving his treats. So, oh, there's my little sunshine. Um, so yeah, I was just like, oh gosh, bad, bad mom day, bad mom day, uh, playing in the rain. Now that's like, it was, it was definitely raining yesterday. So I'm curious, like if I want to, I'm just going to leave it there to remind me it was raining. We could just cut out the rain. There's other ways to document rain, but that will remind me. Um, yeah. So I'm just looking for some cards. We could cut a little card. I just obviously was looking to see if I had anything already ready to go. But this may take more time than, than it's worth at this point. Um, but yeah, so oh, mom of the year. Mom of the year right here. Don't, don't try to compete with me because it's, you know, I've already got that title locked in apparently with my dog treats. So all right, let's let's cut some cards then let's cut a card at least um what do I want then now we get to choose so again I haven't I haven't redone the desk as you can see so I haven't put away my September box um or gotten out my new I mean we could just add this to my scrap box on my desk but I think I'll get rid of some of those scraps put them in the scrap drawer and then put some of these in so that's why they're literally like on top of the desk right now um and I'm just, we could use this purple, but that won't be very fun because it will cut off the fence and the fence is the fun part. This one will do just because it matches this, but it doesn't match. I mean, we have got a lot of colors going on here. This is what we have. We have green, purple, yellow, orange, black, red, e gads, a lot, a lot going on. So, I mean, black might I don't actually like the purple, even though it matches the page. So purple's out. I mean, the black could work. The black might be the safe way to go and it would tie in this. Let's just do black. Now the question is which black. So we'll choose from these two. And it doesn't matter. I'm just looking at like which piece of paper. I really like the web. Um, okay, let's do this one. Let's... Let's just do it. Um, I'm going to cut it down to, I think these are two, Ooh, this one's, oh, are they three by four? What are these? What are these? Yeah, these are three by four, right? Yeah. Okay. And we definitely need three. Um, well, I guess we'll start with a three by four. That's fine. We can just cut it down. I'm going to waste some paper, but we'll do it. We'll, oops. Okay. So that's four. This will be three. And we can save these to make little page flags or whatever. So um, just trying to see really how much space, I mean, I don't, I can't cut the three side. I can only cut the four side. So let's just cut, um, I guess we'll try three and a half. 
All right, let's try that. That's fine. Now, the question is, which way do we flip it? So I'm going to put the picture there and it's either going to flip up or it's going to flip out in my brain, you know, just because we read that way and everything, I'm more comfortable with it flipping out. So we'll flip it out. I'm going to trim this as much as I can and keep a little bit of a border on it. All right. Oh, and see, so here I'll make another little note for my brain right here. Um, I did get back yesterday confirmation on my background. Check completed. So the wheels are turning. The process is happening, right? So, uh, I'm just trying to see this one. We can cut down a little bit. And, oh, you guys, I have never, there were, um, there were some bad calls made on Sunday. Yeah, this will be fine. So let's put, we'll put us here. Um, now I'm going to cut out some of these little grizzly paws as well. So the question is, do we, I guess I like it more over here. So we'll do it this way. Yeah, I'm just thinking, but, um, so this remember is off the popcorn box. So I think we will. We'll just cut some of these out. I peeled it off the cardboard. That was in like a video or two ago, if you guys are new here or didn't catch that video. Um, yeah, there were some bad calls made and in all seriousness, there was a really bad call like made against us. Like we were just like, no way. And then there was a really bad call against the other team or whichever way you want to look at it, right? Like. Um, I'm not saying the rough, I, I, I'm saying there were bad calls made on both sides. <laughs> so, um, but it was super cool because the university of Idaho, uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, their field is inside. They, they have a dome. They have a giant airplane hanger, I guess is what it actually is. Um, and so, um, yeah, like pretty cool. And so it was fun for the girls because their school doesn't have that, obviously. And they have a giant jumbotron. And um, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, except, except when you see the replays, the replays on the jumbotron. And we're like, oh, gosh, that, that was a bad call. That was like legitimately a bad call against us or against either way, both ways. But I was like, Oh, geez, that's, that's really bad. And obviously both teams were upset. I mean, but at least he was equal in his uh, negligence. I don't know. <laughs> but in college soccer, you cannot, uh, they don't, they just show the replays. They don't judge the replays, if that makes sense. I know, I don't think in football, they can, I don't think in college sports, you can uh, use the replay. Anyway, I could be wrong. At least in college soccer, you cannot. So, um, holy cow. But we were just like, what is happening? It was, it was pretty bad. And I was like, I haven't seen that bad a refing at a college level. Uh, anyway, so, but we won. It was a good game overall. Um, so I think like, I don't know. I think I'll just kind of put, oh, maybe I'll put it on the inside. We'll do it that way. Not there. Not there, Allison. Um, so yeah, it was fun though. We had a good time and we then said goodbye to my son's girlfriend, dropped her back off and she had a little event that night. And then, um, and then we drove back home like five and a half hours. So it was a long day. It was a long day. I look horrid in these pictures, you guys. I, 
I look like someone woke me up in the middle of the night and put me in the car and we drove. That's what I look like. I'm glad I represent the reality of my life because I, holy cow. Holy cow. So it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to put this one here. And then I think what we'll do is just draw some little lines to kind of Um, to kind of journal now hmm, what do I want to do here I don't know if I want to draw them in between these polka dots or on the polka dots I feel like I'm just going to follow kind of the polka dots like to uh, you know journal about our day you can still kind of see them so I'll just do that and then whoops what's happening excuse me drawer you need to close I do we we could put more bears we could put more paws here or we could put soccer tape or we could do both we can do whatever we want is what we could do how about that uh we might as well use my fun popcorn box so this weekend they play at home and I was like oh gosh we need to go, but I don't know if we can. I I have so much to do this weekend. Um, so we're just going to have to see. All right, we could do something like that. So that's cute. Um, I actually like it on that side. I wonder if I could scooch this whole thing over one bit of course I can because all right so we're gonna do um that's fine we don't have to put the soccer tape on we'll just use the bear paws you guys they posted a video on their Instagram yesterday of the bears on campus <laughs> Like no joke, they are the Grizzlies and there are, there has been bear sightings on campus. I'm like, oh my gosh, never have I ever. Okay, so this one's going to actually be on that fold. That's why I was wondering if I want to put it right there, but I think it's going to be fine. We just have to make sure it knows that's its job. So we're actually going to fold it kind of like that to train it. There it goes. And then I think we can put this. It's fine. We will clean it up just like that. And then it goes like that. Okay, there we go. It's the worst picture of us ever. I don't know why we're standing so awkwardly, but it is what it is. Now, I have plenty of other journaling space here. Like we could, we'll talk about zips and we'll talk about picking everybody up and learning and, or learning, driving and um, getting home, like all that kind of stuff. We'll, we have plenty of room. So, um, okay, so we're just about done. Again, this is like my title page, if you will, and we could add more fun stuff. It'll come, you know, as the month. I normally don't decorate this anyway. Like, I don't know what I'm going to put here. I mean, the cat, we, we have lots of stuff. It always happens throughout the month. And then, okay, so this was yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, this is is the banana tape I got off of um, Melissa's mail last month and I'm putting it right there <sighs> because it's <laughs> it's bananas and so I guess I'll add some more glue to that it has the packaging still on the back the envelope peeled off a little bit and I don't care that you can see it it's actually the exact same color as this it looks perfect like I planned the whole dang thing now um I think we have enough places to journal and like stuff like that so I think we're fine there yeah and oh and I, I can put the oreo picture there So that works and I'll make a note here that um, my husband 
came home early, nap, and he missed the gym. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so tired, you guys. It He, oh gosh, okay. And then this is this morning. And so we will put, um, did you see what I did with the sticky notes that I got here? They are. Um, but see stuff like this, I've been saving her and I don't, um, she might, this, this might be today's, <sighs> yeah, she might be today's little person. To, it, it's, it's, I need to not wish it into existence. I'm going to not speak on it. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? Up early. Journal. <laughs> work. That's what we'll put so far. We can add a, oh, I didn't finish this roll, you guys. I tried so hard to finish this roll last month. It will definitely happen this month. We are super close. I mean, it could happen right now. I could just use this whole thing on this thing, but I won't. Um, I think I'll use a little piece down here, though kind of like that just to kind of note and um yeah so what I did last year and I don't know why I don't do it like every month but last year this is from pocket journal Pam and um I made a bunch of ephemera out of her like printables I this isn't from last October but I'm just saying last October I made a bunch of ephemera which I really enjoyed doing so maybe we'll do that again I had one right here that was out what did oh here it is in the very bottom now um this is just like scrapbook paper scrapbook paper and a thing glued on, you know one of our printables glued on top but I absolutely loved having stuff ready and so I may go back and do that even with like some of this right you could just add it to some scrapbook paper and it would give you a journaling spot or it would give you you know, a little thing. I really, <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. That's, that's what this says to me. Like just, it's fine. Just <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to leave it there. Okay. All right. Oh, see, I need to go back. See, these are all the little things. This is why it's important that, um, and I'm also going to write here, Rue MD. Um, Okay, so we have we do have some journaling to do tomorrow. We have plenty to do there. So that's that's perfect. Uh, so I think that's it for this little morning's journaling session, you guys. We're kind of like kind of caught up. I just need to do the writing, obviously. But for the most part, we're good to go. And this is today. Welcome to Tuesday, October 3rd. Let's go make it an amazing day. Okay, you guys, thanks for hanging out. I don't I will post it as soon as these can get posted, right? So I, I'm sure you'll see it hopefully soon. I hope you're having a great day and a great week and a great start to October. I'd love to hear what you're doing to document your days. All right. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.